Oops. Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing my Black Friday book haul. Plus a Hot Topic haul because I also went there as well and got some pretty cool shirts. For those of you who do not know what Black Friday is, Black Friday is a day in America. I'm not sure if you guys have it anywhere else in the world, but if you do, it's there too, those places as well. And it's a day after Thanksgiving where you get a bunch of great deals from a bunch of different stores. I'm not really sure how it originated, but it's just a thing that's been there forever for me. So, yay, deals, sales, yes, woo, yeah, yeah. I like saving money. So, let's get started. So, it has been a tradition these past three years with my friends to wake up at the wee hours of the morning, AK 6.30, and head to Half Price Books. Half Price Books is an amazing half price bookstore that we love to go to, and they have pretty good sales on Black Friday. So we woke up quite not really early and waited in line outside the bookstore after grabbing some breakfast. None of us got the $100 surprise gift card in our red bag that they gave us, but we still got a lot of great books. I think I bought the most books out of everybody. I got kind of like, you know, 11 books. So that's what I'm going to be showing you. And then I also went to Barnes & Noble with my friends and then by myself that day as well So I got two books from Barnes & Noble So I'll be showing you guys that after I show you what I got at Half Price Books So the first three books I got were a part of the Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes series And I recently got the first book in the series a few months ago But I found them in a hardcover at Half Price Books for $9 each So that's a pretty good deal because they're usually $20 And I recently also got the fourth book in the series in the mail from the publisher so they're all in hard copy now and they're so pretty <laughs> cannot wait to put this up on my bookshelf Falling Kingdoms is a high fantasy series that I've heard great things about so I cannot wait to read it very very soon because you know Christmas break is coming up and that means more reading time three and a half weeks of just mainly reading and then occasionally going outside to go sled because I love sledding you're never too old to sled the next book I got at half price books was Across the Universe by Beth Brevis I have the second book in the series in this cover and I wanted the first one as well because this book series has changed covers with each and every book that has come out so it has three different covers for the first book and it's insane and now I have all three covers of the first book not meaning to but I saw this at the bookstore and I really love these covers the most so I hope to collect all of them even though I'm pretty sure the third book doesn't have this cover which is kind of a bummer but at least I have the first two in this cover as well it's a science fiction novel that takes place up in the sky of space on a spaceship going to a new earth. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's like cryogenically frozen people. There's some romance. There's much, much action. Woo! So good. Okay, so this next book, I'm very confused about because I think I have the first book or the second book in the series and I feel like I've read it, but I'm not sure and I cannot find the book on my bookshelf right now. So, I'm just very confused right now. But anyways, I also got Angel Burn by L.A. Weatherly and this book, I'm pretty sure it's about angels. Because it doesn't say so on the back, but I'm pretty sure it's angels. So I'm excited to read this. I think it's upper young adult fiction because I found it in the erotica section. <laughs> I don't know. Why were they in the erotica section? I don't know. Mm, so, mm, yeah. <laughs> the next book I've been wanting to get for quite a while, and that is Lord John in the Private Matter. This book is by Diana Cabaldon, and Lord John is actually a character in Outlander, but he's a super, super Meyer character, but he has his own series outside of the Outlander series and that I really wanted to read for a while now, so I hopefully will be getting around to this very soon because, you know, Outlander's my favorite book in the universe, and Diana Cabaldon is awesome. So, I'm really happy to have this. So, historical fiction right here. That I love historical fiction. And it's beautiful. And finally, here's a book that I did not need to get, but I really wanted to get because it's a cool cover, and I do not have this novel in paperback form on my shelf, which I've been meaning to get for a while now. And I didn't want to get the mass market paperback edition because those are hard to read. I got a Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin, and this really cool cover. I've never seen this cover before. Look at Jon Snow. Hello there, sexy. So I've been wanting to get this book for a while now in paperback form, and I've been meaning to read a Game of Thrones for quite a while now. I've started it, but I've never been able to finish just because I needed to sit down and read it and I always had something come in the way of me reading it straight through like another book coming out that I really wanted to read yeah that was that was a quarter of thrones of roses that got in my way the first time <laughs> so worth it so now I have the paperback edition and I cannot wait to read it it's a really cool cover and it was only seven dollars so I was like why not and plus everything that I got a half price book was half price of its original price plus I got five dollars off my whole entire order and then 30% off everything else so it was a very very nice nice um, 
um, Black Friday deal. Okay, so the next three books are either comics or graphic novels. So the first one is Captain America, The Chosen, and this is a comic book. If you don't know who Captain America is, he's a superhero, and he is awesome. He's one of my favorite superheroes, so I just had to get this comic because if you did not know, I have a secret love for comics that I don't talk about that often, and I do not know why. I'll be doing a comic book collection video very soon. I just don't have that many comics, like in physical form, because they're so expensive, but once I like accumulate like 10 more comics, I'll be doing one of them. But I got this one because I really wanted a Captain America comic, and the only ones I have are online. So now I have this one in physical form, and it was $8. Usually they're like 24, especially if they're hardcover like this one. And the last two graphic novels that I got at Half Price Books are Mouse 1 and 2. This is a series that everybody has told me to read because it's supposed to be very good. It's like World War II through perspectives of mice, I believe. So I'm really excited to be reading this because I've only heard great things about them. And, you know, I love World War II history, so why not? And the last thing I purchased from Half Price Books is this Deadpool Pop Funko toy thingy. I got this and I'm so excited because I've been meaning to get a Deadpool Pop figurine thing for such a long time. And I finally have it. I love Deadpool. So cool. He's another, he's an anti-hero from the Marvel Universe. Oh, love him. So I'm really happy to have this. <laughs> okay, next for Barnes & Noble. So the first book I got from Barnes & Noble is The Man in the High Castle by Philip Dick. I've been wanting to read his books for a while now. And Man in the High Castle is now a Amazon Prime original series that I'm going to start watching once I read the book. I've watched the first episode so far, but after I finished the episode, I was like, you know what? I want to read the book first. So I have acquired this book and I cannot wait to read it. I am so pumped. It's really cool. It's an alternate history of World War II where instead of the Allies winning World War II, you know, the Nazis and the Japanese win World War II. Not, not very good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. And lastly, the second book that I got from Barnes Noble, which is probably my most exciting and favorite purchase of like the past few months from Barnes Noble is, drum roll please, that was failed. Avatar The Last Airbender, The Promise. <gasps> this is Avatar The Last Airbender, if you do not know what it is. It's a Nickelodeon show that premiered a few years ago and I love it so much and I've been meaning to get this graphic novel of what happens after the last episode of the last season of the show and I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys but you should watch it if you have not already and once you're finished watching it go purchase these they're awesome they're been expensive they're like $40 but I got killer discounts from Barnes & Noble so I only paid $20 for this which I was very happy about saved $20 there ah, yes I got this. Like, when I saw this at the Barnes & Noble, I'm like, I'm getting it. I actually said I would be getting all three of them, but my friends convinced me not to do that because that would be too much money. But I will be getting them in the future, though. I promise you that. Okay, lastly is my Hot Topic clothing haul because I got lots of fandom merch. So the first one I got was this beautiful Star Wars t-shirt that I really, really like. And I recently watched Star Wars for the first time for the fifth and sixth episode. For the first time, I've seen the first, um, third, fourth. Wow, it's hard to get these straight. I've seen the fourth episode before, but I haven't seen it in a while, so I rewatched that, and then I watched the other two, and now I'm gonna go backtrack to the prequel movies, and I'm super excited about that, but I wanted to get a shirt because we all know that The Force Awakens opens up in theaters very, very soon, so I'm like, why not get some merch when it's on sale? The next shirt is Superman t-shirt, and I really love this. They had a sale, so, like, all the t-shirts were $10, like, yes, please please. And then Deadpool. Woo! I've been wanting a Deadpool shirt for such a long time. And finally, I have this beautiful Marvel t-shirt that I love very much. It has all my bays on it. All the bays, all the bays all the time. So I'm very, very happy about this purchase that I got at Hot Topic because I love Hot Topic. It's my favorite store and the one I frequent most often because it has beautiful phantom stuff. So anyways, that's all I got for the Black Friday book haul slash clothing haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think I saved around $100 with all the discounts that were happening, so I'm very, very happy about it. I saved a bunch of money and got a bunch of great books. I'll be linking all the books that I mentioned in this video today down below, so go check it out. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!